Wolfie Bangklig joining us live. Hello, good morning. Hello, how are you, Wally? I'm good. Thanks for coming in. Very oh, nice. thanks for having us. Nice to finally meet you. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> oh, man. Before and always, you know, great when folks get to come on in and, and pay us a visit. You were in Edmonton here just uh, over the weekend. Yeah. What what brought you down this way? What, uh, what brings you out to Alberta? Well, on... Um Last year, and well, actually for the past two years, um, Darren and I, who's Darren's my drummer, he's also in studio here with us. He, <laughs> he, uh, we competed in this competition uh, called the Global Country Star Search, and uh, this competition um, we ended up winning it last year, which sent us to Nashville in March of uh, of this year. So um, a couple months ago, we got back. And uh, we went down for the NACMAI uh, competition down there, and it's a award show where it brings down people from all over, um, all over Canada, all over the U.S. There are some people from over in like Australia and Europe, all coming over to uh, to compete in this competition. There's about 800 contestants over the matter of I think it was about two weeks. So yeah, we were we came down for that, and um, just on Saturday we drove down, and uh, we were asked to be a part of the finale. Mm-hmm. Um, so we played a couple songs, uh, all set up. They're kind of like um, like a songwriters round down in Nashville. There was the final winners, and we all just shared songs for uh, for probably about let's say about a half an hour. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's the reason we were coming down here and. Popped over to Calgary yesterday just to uh, to drop off a good friend, and uh, yeah, now we're on our uh, on our long stretch home. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, and when you do things like this, you kind of just try to make a big event out of it. Visit stations, or you know, do what you need to do, and uh, especially when you got a new single out, you're up promoting. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, with the uh, with the new single out, I believe it's now in week three of it being out, and uh, we're super super excited about it. Um, we'll play it for you guys in a little bit, but uh, yeah, no, it's um, it's one of those songs that uh, I've always said that um, music is it's a big dream to mm-hmm. me. Ever since I was a little guy, I was about four years old, and I went to my first concert. It was a country concert down in Vancouver, and it was Shania Twain. And the entire time, my eyes, I guess, were glued on the guitar player. So we're driving home, and. Uh, uh, I said to mom and dad in the car, I said, I want to be like that. I want to be that guy. And uh, they kind of looked at me like I had three heads. And I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? Because uh, mom and dad, they uh, they don't play. Mom used to play the um, uh, the clarinet or fake the clarinet. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. She's listening. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, and, uh, and then there's, and dad didn't play. Uh, my sister's a dancer. So it's, it, it was weird how I kind of asked for a guitar when I was really young. Yeah. Because obviously this wasn't something that had been passed on to no, you from yeah. within your family. Exactly. We were looking yeah. down the family tree and we thought, what the, like, where, <laughs> where does this come from? And, uh, yeah, so that's where, uh, that's where it kind of came from. And, um, ever since I got a guitar at six years old and I've never put it down since. And, uh, and from there, the band and I got together, uh, about three years ago now. And, uh, and this summer coming up is, uh, is one of our busiest summers so far. Yeah. So when that guitar was handed to you from yeah. from your parents, they obviously felt at that time they that you were serious as, about what you had first told them. Well, that's that's even the thing <laughs> because it was uh, it was the matter of finding a guitar teacher first that was yeah. going to teach a six year old with the attention span of an ant. <laughs> so I mean, it was it was it was tough. But one a fellow took it on down in Vancouver. His name was Tony Chotam, and every time I go to Vancouver, we usually play the uh, we play the Roxy. Uh, right down on Granville, and um, uh, he's come out to a couple shows there. And when I go down, I get to see him, and he's the he's the one of the reasons why I got started into music. It's it's always uh, it's always heartwarming. Yeah. Now, when you took to the instrument, was it something mm-hmm. that you um, were able to to pick up quite quickly? Well, it was. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. It it was something that I definitely had to work on mm-hmm. um, because when I first picked it up, I held it backwards and upside down, <laughs> and they had to completely flip it on me, and I thought I felt really weird holding it the other way and the right side up, I guess. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was um, it, it was something I definitely had to work on, but uh, like I said, I've 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 never put it down, mm-hmm. and uh, and from then on, uh, I mean, we moved to we were originally from Vancouver and moved to Kelowna uh, back in two thousand six. 
And um, it was when I heard Brad Paisley on the uh, on the radio back home that I thought, man, I got to learn to play like that. Like I I, I have to. And uh, and from then on, I was determined to be able to play like him. And uh, and yeah, I've I've tried and tried and tried and tried. And hopefully that uh, uh, when you when you listen to the record and listen to some things that you see a little bit of influence from uh, from that guy, especially. We got Ben Clink in the studio here this morning. Uh, thanks for coming in and being able to uh, join us here uh, on the program today. Now, BC's home. Yeah. It's a tight-knit community. Oh, absolutely. The, the music community back there. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely tight. I mean, uh, all the, the artists, um, uh, the president, the entire board of directors of the BC CMA and everything, it's one massive family mm-hmm. down there. And I, I can't say enough good things about them um, over on the far west coast uh, because it's it's... It's incredible. Um, they have. We just actually got off the Cloverdale Rodeo down there, and uh, they had two stages set up. One was more of like an acoustic showcase stage, and then the inside one was absolutely incredible. There was production everywhere. The uh, the sound techs, the uh, the lights, the whole works was it was it was crazy. And they um, they allowed different artists um, to do all these different showcases. They invite the public in. And, uh, yeah, it's it's incredible, the opportunities that they give you. You've got uh, such a close-knit community uh, within the province and then, you know, in the country as a whole. Yeah. When you attend events like the CCMAs. Exactly. I know. the uh, we It'll be our third CCMAs coming up in, uh, in London, Ontario uh, this year. And uh, I love going to that kind of stuff. Like, mm-hmm. absolutely love it. One of my uh, one of my favorite um, uh, seminars that they do there is the Tom Jackson performance uh, seminar, where he takes this he takes a band, kind of like a guinea pig band, mm-hmm. and they play one of their songs, whether it's a single or whatever it is, and uh, then after that he says, "Okay," kind of shakes, rubs his hands together, he says, "All right, let's work on this one," and uh, he picks it apart. Uh, line for line, uh, verse, choruses, everything, extends solos, extends intros, shortens some things, repeats some stuff. And uh, one of the cool things that I've always taken from his, uh, from his thing that he does there is that um, when, when somebody buys a ticket to go and see you, make sure that, your, um, that how you play and how you perform is not like they're putting their uh, CD into, the, uh, into, their, into their car. It's uh, make it interesting, make it entertaining, um, and change some things up so that they're they're getting uh, they're getting that ticket value price coming out to watch you uh, entertain and perform for them. Mm-hmm. Just a lot of great, um, you know, advice and just I guess you pick up different techniques of of developing your music and crafting your songwriting. Oh, absolutely! I mean, even all the all the artists and the different uh, and the different people that are there, the writers. The networking and the connections that you make there are incredible. Mm-hmm. Like it's it just just that is worth the ticket price alone to get to uh, to get to the CCMAs. Yeah, well, because you, and you're also getting to see people that you uh, in the industry that I guess uh, are also involved in the industry, but you don't normally get to see each other yeah. all that often because everybody's out. Yeah, again, it's like performing. it's it's like a it's like a family reunion, but yeah. it's a massive Canada wide family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got your guitar. You, you yeah, brought yeah. In, you, we're going to hear the, the new song that you're out promoting that just been uh, put out to radio here just a few short weeks ago. Yeah, a few short weeks ago. Yeah. It was uh, it was a song that um, uh, we, uh, I like to say, it's it's about following your dreams. And uh, when when we, down in Nashville, it was Riley Madison and um, and one of our co-writers that wrote this song. And they reached out and they said, Ben, how did you get started and uh, where would you like to go with this um, and tell us a little bit about your story. So I sent them a big, uh, a big paragraph about it and, um, and they came up with, uh, with a song called, uh, called Daydreaming. All right. So, uh, yeah, um, do you mind if we play it for you? We'll, oh, uh, we, hey, you had to lug that up the stairs, so we thought, <laughs> let's put that to use. Yeah, 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 I know, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, this one is uh, this one's called Daydreaming, and I hope you guys enjoy it. This is the uh, this is the new single. All right, Ben, click on CFWE.
money flowing like water, but I'd live by the river bank. I'd be dunking pails and buckets, moving up in the soul's rain. Not a single care over. I'd be baptized every morning, and that river up to my knees. I'd be spending time on cloud nine, have a place down in the keys, doing anything. Crazy life that would be. Maybe it's wrong to think that way, but I know I'd rather do a little daydreaming. That's how I get from nine to five. Monday morning, Friday night. This guy's got a dream. Ooh. Like a fine wine, but it'll never grow on trees. It takes years of dedication to get a little of what we need. Midnight oil chasing dreams. What you sow is what you. on CFW8. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> we'll uh, let you just uh, catch your breath there for uh, a second there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, CFW increased our power to 100,000 watts ERP at 98.5 FM in Edmonton. If you are experiencing any reception issues that's related to this power <coughs> increase, contact us at info at cfwradio.ca. 849. That's the latest single. That is the latest single. Which, uh, again, just... Um, Beautiful job. Thank you very much. I always like hearing the, the stories and how the whole idea came up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. So it was actually quite nice of, uh, of you to share that. Oh, awesome. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. You're heading down to Nashville again. Yes, we're. Uh, I'm going down to Nashville actually next weekend for two weeks. And uh, I'm going down to, um, to do more of a writing trip this time. Mm-hmm. Who I'm writing with, I have no idea. My producers down there have set up a uh, a, a list of um, uh, a list of writers down there. So when I get there, the one thing that I know I have to do, uh, Riley and Clay, they are phenomenal to me. They're my producers um, of uh, Seven Seventeen Music down there, and. Uh, Every time I go down, Riley makes the best peanut butter cookies I have ever tasted. <laughs> so I told her that the, well, the first thing I do when I get there is we are having milk and we're baking peanut butter cookies. <laughs> so that's uh, that's, that's worth one. The trip right there. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's the thing. I I gotta go down and I gotta do that. And uh, so we're gonna be doing that on um, uh, on the day that I get in. And uh, <laughs> I think I get in on the Sunday. And uh, right after that, um, it'll be a matter of uh, of figuring out where I'm going to be uh, at what time and uh, and doing all the writing. 
Yeah. Now, your your producers down there. How, how did you get connected with uh, with the folks there? Which is a funny story, actually. It was mm-hmm. through the Global Country Program, which is what brought us here. Mm-hmm. And uh, three years ago, um, I. Uh, my dad and I decided, you know what, There's if one thing um, a country artist has to experience, it's going down to Nashville. And so that's why we, uh, that's why we went down um, uh, the first time. And we just went down to check things out. I did a couple, uh, did a couple little showcases. Um, I did an um, in-the-round kind of writing thing at the Commodore Grill. Uh, and I also got to go, I had the opportunity to play in Tootsie's mm-hmm. uh, right down on Broadway. Uh, which both were a lot of fun. Like, it's it's experiences that I will remember for a long, long time. But, uh, yeah, we were, um, we went down strictly to check things out. And uh, I happened to pick up a guitar in uh, Clay and Riley's place, which is where we stayed. And uh, I played them a few songs. And uh, I got home, and probably about to say about a couple weeks later, they sent us a message and they said, hey, do you, uh, do you want to be one of the artists on our uh, for our production company that we've got started up, and I said, "Yeah, absolutely, I am so in." So, uh, um, flash forward a little while, then it was uh, the rest is kind of history. We were we were down there writing for the new record, and I was sending them stuff back and forth, and they were tweaking some things, and uh, and then we came out with the new record. That's amazing. Your your job down there this next next go round is to do some songwriting and you mentioned they kind of worked out a bit of an itinerary there yeah. for you so th- so they know who you're going to be working with you just don't know I just yet. I just I just don't know who it is until I get down there that's the thing it's I know it's 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 the it's the mystery team or something I don't know I'll figure out a name for it I'll hashtag it somewhere <laughs> well it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun you're obviously uh, looking forward to, to oh, going yeah. on back and uh, creating some some new songs mm-hmm. for, for for down the road when you first uh, put out your your material that you've got out now, yeah, when it was first uh, taken, when it was first delivered to radio, and then hearing that song for the first time on the radio, obviously it's oh man, it's it's crazy. Uh, it's one of those. It's it's the feeling of having your uh, your song on the radio, and even when you're we're driving through town and you and you flick onto a radio station and all of a sudden it comes on mm-hmm. you, it's almost like you really got to watch the road it's almost like distracted driving but not um, <laughs> cuz you're 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 focused but then all of a sudden you're what the and then you I do okay I will admit I do find myself singing to myself sometimes <laughs> when I'm on the radio it's 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 not weird I don't think it's weird but I I do find myself doing it sometimes but uh, it's it's something that comes up you you got to do it you got to do it it's obviously um, a surreal moment when you're hearing your uh, music on the radio for the very first time. And, uh, you know, especially if it's something that you had a hand in, in writing, too. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, to hear something that it's kind of like I call it like music and songs, kind of like my kids. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, each one is extremely special to me in one way. And for it to be uh, uh, received as well as um, as well as as the radio stations, especially here in Canada, receive it. It's uh, it's it's incredible, and um, yeah, we I loved I love to hear it, and I, I do have to say thank you to you uh, for uh, for being one of the biggest supporters of uh, of myself and the band and uh, and the music that we put out. <laughs> you know, I just it's it's always for me it's always about just great songs and wanting to share that with with the other folks out there because there's a lot of great uh, interesting. Um, songwriters out there right across this country Mm -hmm. yeah absolutely i get uh i get the pleasure to work with uh with a bunch of them um out in bc i've got a couple uh in calgary i know a couple here in edmonton as well and uh yeah definitely something that uh that's very very special is to be able to um create something put a couple minds together uh write some music and be able to touch people on the uh on the opposite side of the microphone listening (laughs) ben click with us here in the studio this morning before we wrap things up today, yeah, we're going to get to hear another song. Sure, okay, yeah, perfect. absolutely. What's coming up here for the summer? We are. Uh, we actually just got uh, a, a, probably a couple of weeks ago. Um, we were uh, we were accepted into Sunfest over on Vancouver Island. So the spot we got, we were. Um, I, I was floored when I got. It. I was actually. Uh, I was working at the retirement resort I work at back home, and I get this call from my dad. And usually when dad calls, it's. Uh, 
it's it's something that I, I should probably pick up. <laughs> so uh, so I did, and uh, sure enough, he says you got to check your email, Ben. Like you have to check it right now. So I checked it, and uh, we are on right before Carrie Underwood um, down in uh, uh, over on the Vancouver Island, which uh, we it, it's gonna be. It's it's gonna be incredible. We we can't wait. I mean, I'm clearly at a bit of a loss for words about this <laughs> one. And uh, we're actually we'll be coming back um, into Alberta. We're going to be at the Calgary Stampede this year. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're going. Uh, we've on the uh, uh, the window on the west stage and uh, in the BMO Center there. We've got two nights. We're on uh, July fifteenth at uh, five thirty and July sixteenth at uh, six thirty. All right. Yeah. People could also get that information uh, available on your webpage, your social media. Yeah, absolutely. We are on uh, on uh, online, which is uh, www.benclick.com. Click is with a K. A little bit weird. K-L-I-C-K. <laughs> and uh, and then we're on Facebook, which is Ben Click's Music, and uh, Twitter and Instagram as well, which is uh, at Ben Click. All right. Well, Ben, thank you so much for coming in today. Oh, we absolutely. Appreciate thank it. you.